Okay, question number 37. This is a six point question. Make sure that you answer this question because 99% of the time it is a system of equations and I know you know how to solve a system. So at a local garden shop, the price of plants includes sales tax. The cost of four large plants and eight medium plants is $40. The cost of five large plants and two medium plants is $28. As you can see, this question is broken up into one, two, and three parts. At some point, you will be solving this system. If L is the cost of a large plant and M is the cost of a medium plant, write a system of equations that models this situation. So you see how I have a systems of equations? That means you're going to be writing two equations. So there better be two equations on your page. So you're probably wondering, how do I write this equation? Well, it's actually pretty straightforward. They give you all the information here. So let's read it again. If L is the cost of a large plant and M is the cost of a medium plant, they want you to write a system. So we have all this information about large and medium plants up here. If you look, the cost of four large plants and eight medium plants is $40. So if I wanted to, I could represent this as 4L, 8M, add them together and set it equal to 40. So that's one of my equations. I can do four, L plus 8 to M is equal to 40. Now, my second part of my system, the cost of five large plants and two medium plants is 28. So I can say 5L plus 2M is equal to 28. So now I'm just simply going to put those two equations on top of each other, and now I have my system. And boom, that gets you points. Now, part B says, <coughs> could the cost of one large plant be 550 and the cost of one medium plant be 225? Justify your answer. So we know that they're saying L has to be equal to 550, And they're saying that a medium plant is 225. So they're saying M is equal to 225. So what we're going to do is we're going to take those L and M values and substitute them into our system of equations. If you look, I have a system right here, or a part of my system here, that says 4L plus 8M is equal to 40. So let's check that equation. Everywhere I see an L, I'm going to substitute 550. So I have 4 times 550 Ooh, I want to make sure it's color coded for you. Plus 8 times M. And we said M was 225. And that's equal to 40. Or we're saying it's equal to 40. That's why I'm going to put like quotes around it, because I'm not sure if it's equal to 40. So now I'm going to go to my calculator. I'm actually going to type that in. I'm going to do 4 times 550 plus 8 times 225. And then I'm going to hit Enter. When I get that, I get 40 is equal to 40. So right now, it looks like that this would work. So now we have to check it for our other part of our system. So it works there, but now we have to check it for our pink equation. So in our pink equation, we know 5L plus 2M is equal to 28. And we're saying that L is 550 again. Plus 2, and we said M was 225. And we're saying that that is equal to 28. So let's see what happens. I'm going to do 5 times 550, add 2 times 225, and I get 32. 32 is not equal to 28. So this is not possible. So we're just going to write 
not possible. And that's all you would have to write. One way I know that's not going to work is because, look, if I go to this part of this question, it says determine algebraically both the cost of a large plant and the cost of a medium plant. So what they want to do is they want you to solve this systems of equations. If I look, my L's and M's are lined up with each other. My equal signs are on top of each other, and my numbers are on top of each other. So L, M, equal, number. Perfect. What we're going to do is we are going to solve this by using elimination. The reason why we're going to use elimination is because my L's and M's are stacked on each other. I wouldn't use substitution because it's not in L equals form or M equals form. So there's nothing to really easily substitute. So you have two ways you can do this. You can eliminate your L's or you can eliminate your M's. I'm going to eliminate my L's. So to eliminate my L's, all we have to do is simply just switch around a few things. If you look, I have a 5 attached to this L, so I'm going to bring a 5 up here. If you look, I have a 4 right here, so I'm going to put a 4 downstairs. Here's the issue. I need 1 to be positive and 1 to be negative, because 5 times 4 is 20, 4 times 5 is 20, and if I try to eliminate these, they're not going to eliminate it, because 20 plus 20 is 40. So I'm going to make one of them negative. I'm going to make my 5 negative, because why not? So I'm going to distribute my negative 5 to everything on the inside of my parentheses. Negative 5 times 4L is negative 20L. Negative 5 times 8 is minus 40M. And then negative 5 times 40 is negative 200. Now I'm going to distribute 4 to 5L, 4 to 2M, and then 4 to 28. 4 times 5L is 20L. I like this because I can already see that my Ls are going to eliminate with each other. 4 times 2 is a positive 8M. And then 4 times 28, I actually have to do that on my calculator. I think it's 132. Oh, I was way off. It's 112. And that's equal to 112. Now I can eliminate. So negative 20 and 20 L, negative 20 L and 20 L will need to give me just 0 L. We don't write 0 L, we're just gonna write nothing. 3 M plus 8 M is negative 32 M. And that's equal to negative 200 plus 112, which is going to be negative 88. Now the only way to get rid of that negative 32 is to divide both sides of my equation by negative 32. So I'm going to divide by negative 32, divide by negative 32, and I get m is equal to 2.75. So what we know right now is that the cost of a medium flower or medium plant is $2.75. However, we also want to find the cost of a large plant. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick one of our original equations we can choose equation 1 or equation 2. I'm going to use equation 1. And we're going to find out what L is, knowing what M is. So I always rewrite my equation. So 4L plus 8M is equal to 40. We know M is 2.75. So I'm going to substitute 2.75 in for M. When I multiply 8 and 2.75, I get 22. So 4L plus 22 is equal to 40. Now, to get my 4L by itself, I'm going to subtract 22 from both sides of my equation. And I get 40 minus 22 is 18. Now, I divide both sides of my equation by 4. And I get 4.5. So I can say that the cost of a large plant is $4.50. This is how you get six points on question number 37.